Hello, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about dynamic variables. I'm gonna show you one example so you could understand it. We use an inside variable of Tasker, for example, for my audio music. So the music can change when I want to. When I push the play button, it will play my music, and when I push the next button, it will go to the next song. But in my example, I'm gonna show you the song name, and it will immediately change as well. So that's a variable. The inside variable inside Tasker is mtrack, but I will explain that later on. So for now, let's see what it is right now. First of all, I have here on my home screen a super widget, and you will see the artist, you see this, uh, the album and the song name. When I click on the play button, your music plays. And you will see also a flash of the song number. That's what it is. Let's try this again. Play. And now let's push the next button. The song change. And also my notification or my flash change as well. Next. So as you see, you saw a pop-up with a song name. Let's jump inside to Task. I'm here inside Tasker and I have created a task called track name. The track name flash only one thing, the variable mtrack. But when I play that action, it doesn't do anything. Let's try it here on the play button and it flash only mtrack. But that doesn't do it what I want. I want the name of the current song. So how can I solve this? You have to work with profiles. So let's get back to the profiles. And I have here in the profiles tab, I have here a profile called show track name. And I have also a variable set mtrack and then I left this empty and I triggered the track name. So let's create this again. So let's click on the plus button. And then the next thing is very important that you do this this way. You click on event. And then you click on variables. And then you click on variable sets. When you click on variable set, you will put here mtrack let's click on that and you leave the value empty why because tasker will automatically fill in the value so when you have done that go back and link your task in this case i will use track name so i click track name and my profile is done and when i go to track name you will see only one thing, text and track. That's all you have to do to see what song is playing. You can use also scenes, etc, etc. So this is a simple, simple example how you can figure out which song is playing. I hope that you find this handy. It can be very useful. Thank you.